During the activation of your model, uh, quantities are calculated off the model geometry uh, using the VECO office quantity calculation algorithms. And after the model activation, you can review these resulting quantities uh, by getting direct feedback from the model. So you select a takeoff item, the model tells you uh, which element uh, this quantity was extracted from. This way, uh, doing quantity takeoff is uh, much less manual work, manual data entry, and becomes much more of a review of automatically calculated quantities. In this video, I will use the takeoff model workflow item and view set to perform a quality check on the quantities that were automatically extracted through calculation rules based on VECO office algorithms. I will use the highlight takeoff item and highlight takeoff quantity functions to review the geometry that was used to calculate the quantities in these items. After activating your models, select the takeoff manager workflow panel profile and start the takeoff model workflow item from the takeoff workflow group. You now see the list of takeoff items that were generated based on the selected properties when you activated the model. So the name that's listed here equals the family type property that we chose to use. Select a takeoff item. You will see that the associated elements are highlighted in the model. See that again with the slab on grade, and you see that the slab on grade is highlighted, or the cast in place slabs. If you want to take a closer look, select the isolate option from the context menu. Now only the elements associated with this takeoff item are visible in the 3D view. The slab has an item that contains missing quantities. In one of the next levels, I will explain how to fix this. Let's take a close look at the pile caps again, and we expanded the takeoff item to take a look at the takeoff quantities that are listed here. I select the net top surface area, and in the model you can now see which surfaces are used to calculate that quantity. Let's do that again with the edge surface area, and this helps you to quickly identify whether the correct surfaces were included in that quantity. If we look at the bottom area, we can quickly see if uh, all of the elements have a bottom surface area included in them. With the takeoff model view set, quantity takeoff really becomes reviewing the quantity takeoff using the visual feedback that the model provides. In this video, we performed a QA of the generated quantity takeoff using the takeoff model view set started with the takeoff model workflow item. We used highlight takeoff item, highlight takeoff quantity, as well as isolate takeoff item to review if all of the elements were contributing to the uh, calculated quantity correctly.